What's up guys? Welcome back to Backroad Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. And today we're going to show you something I never thought we would say, but cylinder deactivation on Sam's 2021 F-150, the Gen 4 Coyote motor, is actually a good thing. We're going to give you three bullet points that show you exactly how Ford made your engine better with cylinder deactivation, and we're going to show you how to turn cylinder deactivation off and keep all three of those benefits on your Gen 4 5 Coyote. Let's get into it. We already have a video that is titled Gen 4 5.0 liter V8 changes. And right now that's one of the number one videos on cylinder deactivation and changes to the V8 for 2021. When we made that video, it was early on. We were just trying to find out all of the, the actual things that are gonna be different on this engine. We did a pretty good job of getting the conversation started on some of those things. Since then, I've done a lot of research on the internet. I came across a lot of other things that could change your mind on some of those topics, and I'm gonna tell you about them. Let's get into number one. So the oil pump belt that we've all been talking about, being rubber, is that an issue, all that sort of thing. The belt is actually made out of Kevlar reinforced rubber. It's been tested on a dyno by Ford's engineers up to 1100 horsepower. And for those reasons, it's not gonna be the weak link that we're worried about. As you can see in some of these pictures here, the drive belt is actually Kevlar. And here are some other pictures of it on the oil pump itself. This is pictures from the Ford factory floor, guys. An employee of Ford's got on a forum, posted up these pictures, and gave us some good information about what these belts are capable of and actual pictures of the actual belt. So in summary, the drive belt is actually Kevlar. It's been tested up to 1100 horsepower. It's gotta be better than the old chain system for those two reasons. So maybe this rubber drive belt isn't such a bad thing after all. We're in no way saying that cylinder deactivation is good for any motor. We're saying that there's three things Ford improved that made this engine better. We're about to show you how to turn cylinder deactivation off. You get all the benefits that we're talking about with none of the cylinder deactivation problems. Upgrade number two that the engine got was an upgraded oil pump. Here's some pictures of the actual billet oil pump on the assembly line. These also came from the same Ford employee Guys, this new oil pump has higher flow, it's a billet oil pump, and it was put on to be able to pump more oil for cylinder de deactivation, but it's actually also what uh, Roush and Ford Performance were calling out when they put superchargers on some of these engines. They needed a better oil pump, and now you've got it on this engine. So the high output billet oil pump is another awesome improvement they made to this engine because of cylinder deactivation. Before Sam gets to number three, go ahead and hit subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. We bring you all kinds of new Ford information. We also have some older Ford stuff coming. If you like Fords, this is the place to be. So guys, the third thing that the Gen 4 Coyote got as an upgrade because of cylinder deactivation is some upgraded ring packs. So Ford was late to the game on cylinder deactivation. They saw all of the stumbles that Chevrolet and Dodge had so they didn't want to make those same mistakes. Per the same Ford line technician, they have upgraded ring packs on this engine. So that's going to help in high performance applications. You're going to keep your compression longer and have a better engine because of it. So that's the third reason that cylinder deactivation may have gotten you a better engine on the Gen 4 Coyote. We've told you how you've got a better engine because of cylinder deactivation on the 2021 F-150. Now we're going to show you how to turn it off and it's really hard. So give us a thumbs up because Sam's about to really be put through the ringer. Here we go. All right, guys. So to disable cylinder deactivation, you have to go to your battery, find the negative terminal, and right here, there's one cable hooked to it. You unplug it. That's it. Um, Are this, you okay? This, your, is your wrist okay? Oh, man. That was tough, guys. Um, so once you've unplugged that cable, what you've done is you've disrupted the battery monitoring system that Ford has put on your vehicle. What are the cons of unplugging this? Number one, when you get in your truck, you're gonna have a warning light that pops up. It's not a um, 
check engine light or anything like that you just hit OK but it's going to tell you to check the battery monitoring system all you got to do is hit OK when you get in your truck this is the warning that will pop up all you got to do is hit the OK button you're good to go no check engine lights nothing like that this will pop up every time you start and you're going to have to hit the button every time but you don't have to hit this button anymore when you get in your vehicle so the battery monitoring system that Ford's put on these vehicles monitors things like rear defrost, heated and cooled seats, um, the fan controls and stuff like that when, when it's actually doing the auto start stop. So since you're not gonna have auto start stop come on in the truck anymore, it doesn't need to monitor any of those things anymore and tell the truck to kick back on or any of that stuff. So it's not really a big issue. The only thing I can see it being an issue is it's not gonna be able to detect that you've got a faulty alternator ahead of time and um, you know what guys this is so easy to do and it's free but there will be a plug-in module or something uh, through Forescan that can be done in the future that will be just as easy um, but for right now this is free this fixes cylinder deactivation fixes auto start stop for free look most of us don't like all these new standards all the federal regulations but let's be honest and let's live in the real world for just a second. Ford has to meet CAF standards, they have to meet federal regulations, and they have to have a good fuel mileage rating across all their vehicles. If they wanna to continue selling tons of these F-150s with V8s, they've gotta do something to show the government that they can get that fuel mileage up. Supposedly, cylinder deactivation gives you better fuel mileage and that would be the only reason Ford would do it. Real world? I haven't noticed my miles per gallon going down, I've had it unplugged for about a week testing it out before I brought this yeah. to you guys so and miles per gallon know, not really affected smiles per gallon they're up because I don't have to hit the start stop button you know you're not screwing your engine yeah we're not telling you to do this you do this if you want to do this at your own peril it's your own peril it's your deal we're just telling you some of the things you got better in your engine and we're showing you a way that you can bypass cylinder deactivation for free We've got a full playlist on Sam's 2021 F-150 build. He's done over $8,000 in mods. We've done a lot of how-tos and updates on this truck already. Check that playlist out right here in this card. Peace. Peace.